Got some new cool stuff lined up for us this year. Yeah, well, our platinum sponsor High Sense, so that's exciting. I can't yep. wait to test out their uh, their L nine G. Dude, I'm telling you right now, I've been stinking impressed with that Joker. Oh, Legit. you? Oh, you? I have, it. I have it. Yeah. You have it? Yeah. Okay, yep. so tell me. All right. Let's, 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 I don't know if you, <laughs> what you can say about it, but I mean, it's I. You've tested the BenQ. I have the BenQ. Yeah. All right. So what? 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 Like, what am I going to notice? I'll be honest. To me. All right, so I remember reviewing the um, LG eighty five. Man, I forget the model number. It's kind of weird. Hu something. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Out of all of them that I reviewed, that was like that had the best picture quality, the brightest, just looked mm -hmm. really good. But it was also the most expensive too. And with the L nine G, it it goes back to the kind of the a very similar like. Oh, this thing's different than the other mm. ones that I've reviewed. Um, it's got 120 hertz, so gaming on it is like butter smooth. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely good if you're a gamer and you enjoy that. Um, brightness, of course, you've got you can have all the windows open, and it's still got a really nice picture. Of course, if you turn off the the lights, you're going to get a lot better contrast. It's going to look sharper, um, but just overall a great unit. There's a lot of um, advanced features in the thing too so now that's not something that i'm real good at yeah but if if you like getting in there and really tinkering with some of the settings on the back end it's got a lot more advanced features than i've seen in probably any of the projectors that i've reviewed so, so definitely give me some flexibility here's what i want to know though like yeah the benq to me is impressive right yeah. sharp yeah. yep pretty bright i mean yeah. very bright absolutely so yeah. what Moving to this triple laser, what do you get? Yeah. yeah. I mean, to me, I mean, it just, it's a beautiful image, bro. I think, I, I'm not going to say a whole lot about it, but I think you're going to look at it and go, eh, I see it. I like oh, okay. it. I, right. I like it a lot. So right. put it this way. There wasn't anything that stood out that said, man, this, if they only did this, you know, mm. I mean, it's just, it's a great all around, um, you know, projector. So of course the speakers aren't anything amazing. Yeah. They do, they do All right. Well, now I'm excited because, you know, yeah. get that thing unboxed, man. All right. So All hopefully right. later on this week, um, I'll be able to carve out some time and get my review on, on that one. But I'm but super excited good. about these. So uh, I had some family over uh, this weekend mm -hmm. and they saw the uh, ultra short throw. Yeah. And the first thing, <laughs> you know, because they know I mess with projectors and stuff like that. Sure. But, you know. The first thing I saw, uh, my brother-in-law, he's like, he looked back, he looked back. He's trying to look for, like, the projector on the ceiling. Right. Like, oh, that's funny. There's a projector. I'm like, it's right there. Right that's hilarious. He's like, oh, what? That's crazy. You know what I mean? He's like, so what happens when I, uh, when I uh, open the blinds, though? You know? Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah, yeah, open them. See yeah. what happens. Bust them open, man. You know, the CLR fire? screen takes care of that. Yeah. So. I was like, and then like, and the next thing I think, uh, you know, his wife was like, yeah, you should get one of those. So I thought that was kind of cool. Now, Typically, people of, don't say that about your projector, right? They, yeah. they know that you're that crazy guy yeah. who has like the, all this, like you know, a little over the top, and they're never gonna do what you know, they're never gonna do that setup, right? But this is like, yeah, we should get something like that. Like, yeah. Oh, all right, they are onto something with these ultra short yeah. throw. I um, love the direction that they're going. Now, here's another great thing about this. It's probably one of the easiest ones to set up with the whole lining it up. Some of them have been just, I mean, it'll take me 30 minutes to align it perfectly. And then sometimes you still don't get it really perfect. It's yeah. like, that's always the hard part for me is getting the right height. Because mm -hmm. if you don't have the right height, then you're screwed from the beginning and you're just trying to make shift and bend stuff. And But this one has, I think, 12 point... Um, adjustments if you need to mm -hmm. and it's got this uh, cool feature where you basically um, it shows these dots on the screen you pull out your phone and you take a picture of it mm -hmm. and then it sends that picture kind of like to the projector and it goes boop and mm. it pops into play it's crazy dude oh, all right it's all right i like that yeah it's some legit technology going on in there and i'm like okay but it made it really simple to to set up so i have i have a tip for anybody who's setting up an ultra short throw Mm -hmm. And this is something I found out with the BenQ one is one of the things that's tricky that you probably don't think of is that the distance from the wall really 
messes with things, right? If yeah. you don't get Every, that distance everything perfect, does. Everything, everything does. But that's the one that I didn't used to think of so much. Yeah. So here's my tip is make sure that the distance on both ends of that projector are exactly the same distance from the wall. Yeah, because it'll skew get that it. part. Yeah. Get that part down, right? And don't mess with that. Yeah. Get, you know, set, put something there. I don't know, whatever it takes, right? <laughs> but do that first and yeah. then mess with the rest of the stuff. Yeah. Because if there's too many, you have to level it this way, mm -hmm. yeah. forward and back is going to be like a D box. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Moving all around, up and down and all this stuff. Make sure that uh, the distance from the wall is going to be the same. Yeah. Well, you know, there's no reason for that to not be yeah. the same, really. Like, why would you have that skewed? That doesn't make any sense. You know, think, the distance from the wall should be equal, should be parallel. Manufacturers are getting better at providing you more information on their recommended. Because think about it. It's a fixed length. And so they know the exact distance from the from the wall because they know, like in this case, um, they pair it with the 100-inch screen. And if you get the 120, I think it almost has like a different lens, you know, mm. so it's made for that screen. So it's one of those things where they know the exact distance, but in the past, not all of them had put that information like in their manual or in a download. And so they're getting better at doing that. So, yeah, I'm gonna try. so uh, Kanga, first of all, thanks FOMO. See you later. Thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, Kanga says, if you can give me some good ideas for my USD with a center channel option, right? Yeah, so he that's another struggle. It really so is. I see. I saw your friend uh, build montage, right? Mm -hmm. He had a setup where it was kind of like a like dual tier, I guess. Mm -hmm. So the ultra short throw went had its own platform, and underneath yeah. that, he had a center channel. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I mean, I think in, I'm thinking that pretty soon we're going to start seeing these brands like Salamander and these cabinet builders. They're going to start accommodating for those. I would love to see that. To be able to put a center channel below, maybe have it angled up, which we're probably going to do that on our own because, you know, people that are building cabinets, they're not really audiophiles or anything. Yeah. So they're probably just going to make them flat like they always do. But you can always buy those little foam pieces on Amazon to angle it up towards your listening position. Um, the only difficulty there is if you've got multiple um, rows of seating, having that center channel low is going to might be impeded by that front row so this guy he did this he made his yeah this projector junkies so he made a little I, I saw somebody else do something similar to this very cool yeah for but sure yeah basically you, all you need is really a cutout right right a cutout and something to place a projector and then you know you can figure well, out all a right, so, so there's another the, one here too i saw so that where's the actually, um his center channel is it below that i'm assuming mm, yeah this is not if a good example actually of what okay. i was trying to show he might was another guy who uh had it set up kind of like this but where you could actually put a center channel mm -hmm. still so you said uh, look around one. there's a few people that have some okay. stuff yeah tony may have one i haven't seen his video on that one so so here's a good question from eric he says you know the l9g can you adjust the aspect ratio you know, 69, 2.35, no. Unfortunately, that's one of the downfalls with the um, ultra short throws right now is you don't have like a lens memory because it's literally a fixed aspect ratio and it's 16 by 9. And so on your screen, you're going to get gray bars on top and bottom. Um, I mean, technically, well, yes, I don't even think you could go with a wide screen. Um, like a cinescope screen on that because again they're designed for a certain size most of them some of them do allow you to go from say an 85 to 120 um, but some of them are like okay this is what we're selling this screen and this projector because we know they work great together and that's what they sent me the 100 inch so mm -hmm.